We are now in May, which means that Home Assistant 2024.5 has arrived. This month is smaller than the previous two absolute mammoth releases, but still features some great additions to the automation organization side, along with an excellent new security feature, tile card updates, and improved helper creation. Last month's April release saw a big update to automation organization, which saw the addition of categories, labels, and floors, which would let you group, organize, and just generally tidy up automations and scripts, along with devices. It was one of the biggest feature updates for a long time and answered the prayers of many Home Assistant users who had been requesting such a feature. This month builds ever so slightly on that release with a couple of nice quality of life improvements that was requested after 2024.4 dropped. The first one being that you can now collapse groups in the UI to help with finding the right automation. One nice thing about this little addition is that it remembers which categories were collapsed even when you close or reload the tab, letting you keep your most frequent ones visible whilst minimizing rarely accessed automations. The next improvement is over in the Entities tab of the Integrations page, where you will find the same filter controls, but now you can filter entities based on their domain, letting you quickly access all climate entities or all of your air quality entities, for example. While on this page, you can also group by domain too in the main panel, and again, you can show or collapse these groups as you see necessary. Finally, back on the automation screen, you can now bulk select automations and assign them to an area to get things organized quicker, which actually works not only in the automations menu, but also in scenes, scripts, and the device page. Next, another small feature that I also really love because of its simplicity, is one that you will find when you create an automation where if you try to add an action and then select a helper, you can now create helpers directly from the automation rather than creating your triggers and conditions and then realizing you didn't have the right helper created, having to abandon it and create it and then come back and recreate what you were doing. You can now just do it as you go directly from the automation. Nice. Finally, for the big stuff, there is a new tile card feature for locks, which will let you customize the way locks are shown on your dashboard, showing you quick toggle buttons alongside the status. And if you have a lock that is openable on a latch, you can display the open button in the card now too. As for the little things this month, firstly, the glances integration now supports GPU sensors and network sensors to monitor with your instance. There is a new service for the Roborock integration to retrieve maps. The Lutron integration now has support for events for button presses. ESP Home Voice Assistant Audio has been improved. And finally, there is a new debug mode option to help troubleshoot potential issues. In terms of new integrations this month, we see six new integrations arriving in this release, including an Epic Games Store to let you monitor games discounts from the Epic Games Store, and then EQ3 Bluetooth thermostat. There's also three new integrations that are now available to set up in the UI instead of via YAML. As for breaking changes or backwards incompatible changes, it's a pretty small list this month with nothing major at all, a couple of really minor ones for templates and groups, but no game changers in this release, but do make sure to check them over for yourselves to make sure nothing applies to you. And that's about it for this release, another one in the books and some good new features in this release. My favorite one has definitely got to be super kill cool feature that got cut from this release. Absolutely love that one and it seems very well executed. So looking forward to seeing that in action and getting some feedback on how that works for everyone. I would love to hear your favorite new feature from this release down in the comments. As always, the collapsible sections is also super cool. And that was actually based off some submitted user feedback, which is really nice to see that the team takes that on board and adds new features. Other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for all of the kind messages of support. Really appreciate that. Please drop this video a like and get subscribed. And I will see you in the next video.